I think it was 2022, this study came out and it was evaluating, I believe from 2011 until 2019. So it was over a relatively seven, eight year period. It was looking at the 96 drugs that were introduced to the cancer world. And they looked at, they clumped all the cancer types, all the stages into one sort of bucket. They looked at all of those drugs and they evaluated what was the overall survival rate that these drugs offered. Have a guess of what that was? And these are our blockbusters. We spent billions of dollars of getting them. It costs about $120 million to even get a drug started in research, like just even get it approved to go into research. So, I mean, you would think to convince people to take it, you'd think it would be at least 70% survival. Rate. Yeah, like a huge survival rate and even like time frame, like thinking, well, this is going to buy me time, even if it doesn't cure me. A lot of people will look for that, what they call a progression free survival or an overall survival. The average, some a little better, some a little worse, 2.4 months is how much more it gets you. It is definitely not qualifying your quality. 